Yai Toaki, how are you, my friends? I hope you are well. Uh, it's good to be back to you with Toolbox. The, um, did you know that God hates sin? God and sin cannot live together. And I believe that the number one thing that will complicate your life is sin. Because you've been born again. Your spirit is alive. And as your spirit is born again and you interact with sin, it brings damage to your life. Sin begins with a simple pleasure, for sin is pleasurable. But sin will lead you into that place where you, you begin to struggle with issues. And when there's issues in your life, it will lead to strongholds. And when there's strongholds in your life, it will bring your life to chaos. It will destroy your life, your marriages, your friendships, your career, your bank account. But more than that, it will destroy your relationship with God. And so if, if you are struggling in sin, or more than that, this is for every believer. In the last conversation that Jesus had with his disciples, and it's in John chapter 14. There's a, uh, John 14, 15, and 16 are incredible chapters of the Bible. But he says this, verse 15, he says, if you love me, you will keep my commandments. It's so simple. He goes, to those that keep my commandments, the foundation of his commandments is if you love him. So if you are looking and wanting to grow in character, grow in purity, grow in holiness, if this is the vision of your life, that you want God to be first. You want God to be the number one in your life. If this is what you're wanting to cultivate, and if you're watching this video, I believe this is what you want. You want purity. For the pure, in, in, the, for the pure of heart will see God. This is what you're reaching out. This is what you're crying for. I want to call you to develop your passion for the Lord. For those that love Him, they will keep His commandments. It's very simple, but very deep and profound. Holiness comes from a vision to love your God. Purity, this pursuit, it comes from those whose hearts are set on loving Him. If this is what you want to cultivate in your life, I would call you then to enter in communion with the Lord. And uh, these are, are very simple, but I yet believe, I believe, transforming, life transforming messages. If you love me, you will keep my commandments. And so Jesus, he said, excuse me, John said this, I love him because he first loved me. So as a believer, get the word of God in front of you and begin to have a prayerful, loving dialogue and say, Jesus, you love me. So I love you. So I want your commandments alive in my heart. I want that flowing dialogue with you that, my, the, that your word would be alive in my heart. That your word would take root and bring glory and transformation in my life. Because this generation has a, the greatest battle, I believe, in, a, in many decades, is the enemy is targeting your lives with sin. And as you cultivate your love for Him, I believe purity and holiness will grow from that. So I am calling you to connect with God and let His heart grow your capacity to love Him. And as you do this, I promise transformation will come in a place of purity. You love Him because you've encountered His love for you. The, our God is not distant, but He is close to you and He is near you. Faisen Giro, make sense, my friend. This will transform your life. Abraço para tudo. God bless. And allow these tools to bring transformation to you. Ciao, ciao.